Hello you guys. I'm coming at you fresh faced and I'm, I hope you can see it properly but like freshly washed hair. Wow the camera this angle makes me look so pale like ghostly. Ghostly. <laughs> anyway I uh, today is like editing day. I have got a zoom meeting later. It's not really a filming day for me but Given that I did wash my hair, I thought it would be so nice to kind of show you guys what it looks like right after the shower. I will say though, if I needed any more convincing that this chop was the right thing to do, I got it in the shower. When it took like seconds to detangle and to wash and to just, I just, I think what I'm learning is one of the things I value when it comes to my hair is less fussing. About. I don't want to take time and hours trying to get it to look how I want it to look or you know wash it even forget even trying to get it to look a certain way washing it so that it's detangled and feels clean and I don't want to I don't time time is important to me and the less time I can take on this and I feel amazing then the better and even now I kind of feel like I just I want to let it live I feel like even my curls are popping a bit more. My curls at the back have always popped a little bit more than, um, oh. <laughs> I'm also seeing how I've got like soap. Just a sec. Okay, <laughs> I had to pause and like clean my ears, to be very honest, not my ears, but like my studs. I just realized after the shower, I feel like that's the best time to get gunk out and just like really make sure that the studs are as happy as possible. Just using a cotton bud and so I just push it out and I clean a little bit. So that's what I was doing. This is just so much better than having that black closet in the background. This is just a lot better. But I wanted to show you, it feels like my curls are more alive. I don't know, I don't think I'm imagining that. I'm not sure, but this even just like makes me excited to try and see what else I, how else I can style my hair. But the curls at the back of my head is always feel a little bit more um, defined than up here, which you can see very clearly that there's a difference between like, well, I don't know if you can see it. I can definitely see it. Anyway, so now I'm going in with three products. Always, now I'm really trying to like start with the, what is that technical name actually? Density stimulator, density stimulator, curl expressions dense, density stimulator. Um, it's got 5% stomoxidine and hibiscus oil, hibiscus seed, hibiscus seed. Um, and I really like that it's just got this spray function because I part, spray, part, spray. Figured I should show you what the back looks like too. Okay, and then I'm going to focus on my edges because I always with this product I always focus on my edges lean back because I do not want that product on my skin on my face rather and then massage next product is the it's locked is this the carry water mist which is like a leave-in oh look at how easy that is maybe I should angle you I'm not even combing properly like the way I usually would like if it was longer I'd be like and then going and then going there but because like at the back it's so sh it's so short at the back Ooh, it's so easy to just make sure it's properly detangled please remind me I mean don't remind me but I was gonna say remind me next time you see my hair just getting longer just be like are you sure are you sure that's the struggle you you've chosen for yourself just just give me a little nudge but also don't, just in case I don't want to hear it. And I'm like, I just want it to be longer. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not sure what to do. I almost want to leave it like this, but I never feel comfortable just leaving my hair out. I always feel better if it's in, I don't know, just like maybe held up or just protect. I don't like the ends being out like this. I, I feel better when, I don't know, like they're in a matuta. Or something like that, which a matuta is a is a braid. If you are not from here.
Okay, so my hair is too short to do the thing I was about to do, which at this point <laughs> makes me want to just hold it up. Like I could just also hold, hold it up, but I would love to, to I'd love to have um, cornrows actually. That's, I just don't like, I just think it's too short at the back to support that. At this point, I'll just hold it, I'll just hold it at the back. I think that's just the easiest and then I can get on with my day because again, time. And I've been here five minutes exactly trying to do this and I'm no longer willing to spend more time. That's it. Hi. Oh my gosh, guys, I just, I wanna send out good vibes to you. I wanna, I wanna send out like good vibes. I wanna put lip gloss too, so let me, um, let me do that. I'm so curious if you guys are like me and if your uh, handbags have all these little bags that have things <laughs> in them. Like that's how you organize things in your, in your bags in mini bags inside. This is Hughes and Tones, right? Yeah, Hughes and Tones, they're clear gloss, easy. I just, I really like this actually. And I like that it's clear too, so I don't have to worry about if it's gonna match with my outfit, my makeup, all of that, and yet it's really, Juice, it's like a, mm, with meat, a lip balm with a little bit of a, like just juice, like, if I do this, you should know what I mean, okay? Gestures are just gonna have to fill in the blank for now. I, I just, I, I'm feeling all the vibes. I don't, you, I think you can see. Like, I feel like at this point, I'm radiating the vibes. I um, was just talking to Mutua about like a possible shoot. I'm really jumping the gun here, but I think that's one of the things that's just gotten me excited and and the idea of making that as regular as possible because this is really my chance and and I think I, I haven't even seen his response, but I think it's also his way in fact, I'm just gonna read it so that I don't put words in his mouth. Oh Montua. yes. Get back to being the fearless creator I once was. I probably, I don't know if I should be reading out messages that he's sending, but that's the gist of things. And to create purely for the sake of creating, because you have an idea, because you want to see it to life, because you want to push the boundaries a little. Some may not be, I don't know what people will think of some of the photo shoots will do. I don't know how they'll be perceived. I'm not sure. I just know that I want to be in that space of of creating for the fun of it because a lot uh, it, clearly because this is what I do for work and this is purely like this is really what I do for work content creation um, a, a lot of what started out as just like a fun passion project has turned into my career and I'm so grateful for that and I used to feel like there's this push and pull between the two worlds I'm very much aware it is something that I'm grateful to get up and say is my job like I I, I see it first as that and I, I'm trying to create the structures around it so that I can respect it as that. I'm even trying to see if I can um, uh, work on hiring someone to, to help in the next couple of months because I think it's going to be a busy couple of months. But I also want to create space for this other side, this other side that just did things for the sake of it, that had all the time in the world, didn't have to do like, I don't know whether it's like school pickup so drop offs or like worry about what a child is going to have for dinner and all of those things that I'm still grateful that, you know, make up part of my, my day to day. But I think what I'm trying to say is like, I'm like, that's one of the conversations that's just like lit a fire in me. Another conversation I had is actually the project that I've been teasing out a little bit the last, uh, I, I don't, yeah, in, in the last few videos, I know twice for sure I've mentioned um, this thing. And I'm almost certain that we're going to launch mid-November. And that by the end of October, I will have actually shared. Like, 
more concrete details around it and just you would know and it, it makes me so happy and I just want you to just have that in the back of your head that there's something that I'm uh, in partnership with another brand that I deeply respect and will be able to bring this, birth this to life and I just, I feel so excited about about that. Um, yeah, and I, and I think also, I just, I just want to go back to something that I mentioned a few weeks ago, which is really, I'm really trying to be in touch with how I'm feeling and, and not dismissing any weird um, or unclear or unfamiliar feelings inside me. Cause I, cause I realized that that's what I do. So if I'm starting to feel like a little overworked or burnt out or something, I may not recognize it because I'm too busy doing things. Or in fact, what I actually remember telling my mom and I even ended up telling my um, life coach was I used to run on such an unhealthy, uh, these, these waves, um, roller coasters, if you, want, if, if you will, and essentially after a long productive day or like a long busy day of just like da -da 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 -da, like doing all these things by the end of the day i would be and i think i used to use this word before on on my vlogs i'm i don't know if you'll recall but i'd i'd be buzzing that's the word i'd use like i'd be <sighs> buzzing i remember saying those words so many times to like if i had someone over or if like I, I, I was vlogging or I would, I would say, like, I feel like I'm buzzing, like, and that's the, at the end of the day. And what I didn't realize is almost on like clockwork, after a couple of weeks, I would equally just crash. Like, thanks, but like, I'm out. Body, system, everything, no more. I have nothing else to offer. And then I would start to feel like a sense of re this fe this resentment building up because and I wouldn't be able to place it. Um, and I think there were other things at play and there's other things that are happening that could have also, you know, built towards this feeling of like the, the crash at the end of the uh, at the end of a like a busy uh, adrenaline filled couple of weeks. But I also don't think that that like that is not how I want to live that's not how i want to create that's not how i want to mother that's not how i want to be and move through this world not from that like roller coaster and i'm just seeing the difference between sharon from a few months ago maybe even more than a few months because i think a few months ago i was like deep in my like i'm burnt i have nothing i, I don't know what i'm doing what is show me the way up because i have no idea in all this muck i can't even tell you what way is up but start of the year 100 percent. that sharon would have these deep moments of like adrenaline adrenaline like that's what would be fueling me and i it would be so bad i could i would find it hard to step away or to to like to 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 like put my laptop away and like what I'm about to do is actually do my nails because I just chipped my nail trying to open my water. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just see a difference there that I think will have a really big impact. And I've been able to maintain this. And I think it's because I'm constantly tapping in and I'm going back to that baby Sharon and just being like you know are, are you okay how can I serve you today how can I show up for you today what do you need you want to enjoy some crepes to <laughs> one of the photo photo shoots that he showed me first of all he just posted these fire pictures fire pictures fire pictures that we took last year I'll actually insert them on the screen here and I, <laughs> I saw them a couple hours later and I was like First of all, can you couldn't just warn me as I'm here devouring eight crepes <laughs> that this is because that's that's not what this Sharon looks like today. Nah, uh-uh, that's not it. Like if I'm squatting, 
the folds here they're not gonna sit it's not gonna sit the same way and that's okay too and that's okay but um i just was like can you just give me a warning okay so so i'm not like having to deal with stark differences in uh that versus this no 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 i'm just i was just playing i actually don't believe that at all and i love that version and i love this version but even that even that i found myself and pardon me because i feel like i'm i keep going into these like chats but um but they're important and i i want to have this conversation and discussion and if i just think back to the conversation i had on money and how what the response was like and i've read all the comments i've read all the comments may not have responded to all of them but i've read all of them and loved your input so much so i even found myself going back to my and like oh i saw this comment it was a really good idea we should do this with our babies but anyway another thing i found is my body isn't sitting the same way it did at the start of this year for instance even um and what's very different though is that i still see I'm, I'm still so gentle like just the way i speak to myself has completely changed and the roles that previously i'd be like oh yuck oh i don't want to touch i have to do something oh my gosh like urgency i will i don't know how this will sound but i'm just gonna say it but i will like almost caress my body and just like say to myself i love you thank you thank you and 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 so I'm, I won't say it out loud. I'm, I may not even fully think it. I just know in like doing that, that's what I'm reminding myself. Like this is how you're choosing to serve me now. Partly because I'm also not like eating the best. The last couple of weeks I've not been to the gym. Although I did start again yesterday. Um, I just wanted to give her a bit of a break. Because I didn't want to just put it through any strenuous like workouts or, or tension. Um, but I'm back now. And... And that's what I needed in that time frame. And I'm back to this routine that serves me and wanting to eat better besides the crepes that I was eating today. <laughs> um, but I, I feel, I genuinely, I feel love. And sometimes it strikes me as, ooh, ooh, I don't like that that outfit doesn't fit the same way anymore. Sometimes it strikes me as that. But I don't go past that to like this self-deprecating talk that's just it there's no love there's no patience there's no kindness i i'm really working really working on that and i feel that that same thread that i have where i'm no longer going through these ups and downs the, these moments of like panic and or, or not even panic the word isn't pan of adrenaline and like <gasps> tension and oh my gosh i'm like buzzing and wired you know like i'm on a high that's what it would feel like I'm on a high from like working. I'm no longer going through that. I feel like that thread is also the same one that I can see in how I'm speaking to myself and like the conversations I'm having with myself about my body and what I want for it um, and how I want to, to look out for myself in this regard. And I think that's one of the things looking back at the end of the year, that's one of the things I'm gonna be most grateful for. It's not, the contracts I had, it's not whatever items I bought for myself. Um, it, it's that I managed to start a new relationship with myself. And this time I'm choosing, in, intentionally choosing to show love to to, to do this to myself and and sometimes this and sometimes like wait a second I don't think that serves us anymore but in a very in a very mature way not the uh, not the passive almost you know deprecating way that I was doing before where I didn't even I wasn't in control I just felt like I'm, I'm all over the place and that's that's really interesting. That's like, you know, that that's the thing that I will look back on 2022. I think, I mean, the year isn't over yet. <laughs> We're in October and I'm like looking back on the year. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and and, uh, and share just a few exciting things, you know, back to creating for the love of creating with friends, projects that uh, I hope you guys will love.
I hope you guys will love because I really do love them. <laughs> and um, just the change in perspective. Anyway, enough with my self-reflections. I have a couple of goodies from La Roche-Posay. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go for this one first. In fact, I think if I can pull up the, I'm, I'm gonna try and see if, I'm gonna put the information in the description box for you. Wow, I think these bags just suddenly changed the color tone of my video because I feel like the color in my skin just like vanished when this was in the frame. But anyway, um, I let me just actually see if I can pull up exactly what it is because they did give me a heads up on this specific product being on sale. So I don't typically use the Lipica range. It is for people who um, have eczema or yeah, actually I think it's really it's really eczema and any like any such skin flare-ups and this range is iconic across the world for its calming effects I know this for a fact because of what my best friend shared with me and I think I um, I shared this with you guys before but just in case you don't know, Mondi um, has had eczema for, I think, most of her life. And every once in a while, she'll have some really bad flare-ups. And she has done everything under the sun that every dermatologist has suggested. In fact, I was saying, like, I think Dr. Hashim might be someone you want to go see. Just I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I, mean, she, I know she's done everything. And um, not to be presumptuous and be like, I know what will really help Dr. Hashim. She's the one who even, I think, first said... I wonder if I should go see him. But anyway, what I'm saying is like she's tried, you know, a lot of products, a lot of these like home remedies. And when she used the Lipica range, she has, she's the one who even was like, hun, hun, hun. Wait a second. I can't tell you. I can't even begin to tell you how much this has had an impact on my skin. I also know someone else who had eczema on her hands and she remember she and it would just be a random flare up. Um, but she was like, oh, my gosh. I use this product. I saw. I met her at the gym, and she was like, "I use this product when, uh, not product, because I was. I had the La Roche. I think I had the vitamin C. But she was like, I love the La Roche um, Lipica range because of eczema. And so I just want to share with you if you have that, or even for kids actually, because kids have incredibly sensitive skin, and this range is formulated with that in mind for people with sensitive skin and. Uh, are susceptible to like flare-ups and like perfumes and things scents like that could really just inflame things even more but um would highly recommend the lipica range so this is the lipica balm and the what is this this must be the shower gel cream lipid replenishing cream wash anti-irritation anti-scratching y'all it's it's the one and then cicaplast balm what i usually use the cicaplast balm for is if i've got like heat rash helps so much and whenever i go to the coast i tend to get heat rashes on uh my joints um or if there's any like uh, uh wounds that you're trying to heal it's got like um those healing properties but i will leave a link in the description box because i believe my dawa have uh, a discount it's running through the month of october so run don't walk if you don't use it maybe consider buying it for a friend of yours because christmas is around the corner i said the c word and it would make for a good gift for a loved one for someone who's got like a newborn i think this is a really really good range i know tatiana uses it for her little one for baby nova and then i got a top up of some of my faves so these I'm going to gift Mondi, actually, because um, I think, yeah, I'm going to gift Mondi this range. But this is the Effa Duo Plus uh, Moisturizer. I use this whenever I'm using my Holy Grail, the product that completely changed the game for me in 2020. Uh, I, I don't know how many before and after pictures I can put on the screen, but the other day I did see some other photos from, I think I must have taken them last year, and I, I'm I'm just gonna insert them on the screen. I'm gonna insert that here. What side was I facing? I don't remember what side I was facing, but 
Look at my look at my skin, you guys. I haven't even done my evening skincare. I haven't done my evening skincare, so keep that in mind. But yeah, I I know I don't have perfect skin, but I'm telling you, there's clearly a big difference from between where I was then and where I am now. So, and this has been the main product. It's got uh, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, LHAs, and I think it's got niacinamide. It may not have. Let me not say that. I'm not sure. Uh, but it definitely has the thermal spring water. Does it? Oh yeah, it's here. Salicylic acid, glycolic acid, LHA, soothing niacinamide. And then this face wash, um, which actually is good if you've got like acne prone skin, oily sensitive skin. I don't necessarily have oily skin and I think their other pigment cla moisturizer, because I've been using that now, I think I might even prefer it and I prefer I don't know. I'm not sure which one I prefer, but this is a staple. I just find it like convenient to have. Um, and I like how it feels clean, but not dry um, when I use it. And then the product that I think everyone, everyone should use. In fact, I was even telling my sister the other day how I think sunscreen is the one thing that you have to start using now. You have to. Now that I've <laughs> talked for a long time, I'm going to do my nails this is my little nail kit this is um from olive and june and it's just so convenient that i've got everything i've actually been consistently using the uh, nail or oh, cuticle serum and i want to do a little uh i'm just going to take this whole thing off and then put it back on again and have a relaxing evening go do my skincare take my vitamins oh i just feel really grateful I hope you're having a good day. I'm sending you all the good vibes. I really am. Hello, you guys. Did did we talk about... Or is that something on my hair? It's just... I think it's light reflecting in a funny way. But anyway, I don't know if I showed you what my hair looked like after I washed it. But I've just been experimenting with it. And honestly, I just do like matutas. And then comb it out a little. Pin it towards one side. And rocket there's no like special anything that i'm doing just yet i just use a certain product so because i find that the curls i don't know they're like sitting a little bit better when i use this specific um curl expression product on my hair the one that was in the tube i'll, I'll, I'll link it in the description box anyway i haven't actually picked up my camera no i have i have it's just been like sporadic with no real intent of actually talking into the camera but just capturing certain moments starting with the one that i want to share with you which was taken on friday it was uh, it was such an exciting moment so much so that i went back on sunday but let me just insert the clip here i will say though that i had my uh daughter with me so i feel like i had a few interruptions i can't remember too well what i did share i do remember however panicking in the best way possible um but just let me just insert the video here you guys <laughs> when i tell you that i'm freaking out in the best way possible it's because i'm freaking out in the best way possible i can't believe just this morning my friend t messages me and she's like my fellow book nerd okay so she's like she sends me an article about big bad wolf and how there's these like epic like they're gonna have like containers on containers on containers of books at crazy discounted prices and i'm like oh you know what actually i might be at sari center later today because i'm uh taking uh, a bunch of kids for ice cream i was wondering like should i should i not but i wasn't sure because i've got like uh i had i had my dentist appointment long story short i'm here okay that's the, po the point of the story is i'm here and you should be here <laughs> because I've already identified two books that are coming home with me. T, if you're watching this, I'm sure we've already bought these. Like, I'm sure I've already messaged. In fact, I sent her a voice note earlier today just being like, you need to come really quickly. It's better than we thought. Um, <laughs> I'm about to get interrupted. Just a sec. Listen, my dad's even here because I called him. I called Marion. I called everyone that I could immediately think of who loves books because everyone needs to come here. Everyone needs to come. It's only going to be here for the next 10 days i'm filming this on friday so it's gonna be till the 24th is today the 14th i'm not sure um i'll try and put information in the description box 
not because I'm being paid to, although I do feel like this is the kind of thing I should be paid to do, because I would do this willingly, happily, shouting from every rooftop between here and Timbuktu. I would be the best. I'm talking about books you need to buy. Anyway, especially when they're discounted. And I found uh, two, yeah, I found two, uh, a man called Ove and Britt Marie was here. They're both by Frederick Backman. He wrote Anxious People, which I read this year and I love. In fact, someone right now was like, is that a man called Ove? Oh. And you know, you know what that means. This is 650 and I believe the other one is 652 like at least half the price of what I would pay if I was going to go into a bookstore and buy it. So I will think everything I can. It's at Sari Center and um, I will definitely come back here because I believe they're going to be offloading like containers maybe every day. I don't know how often they're going to do it, but there's going to be more books. And I was even specific to ask, are you bringing in more of the same books or different kinds? Different kinds, you guys. Let me try and, I'm going to try and pan around, but bearing in mind that there's, I guess, people. So... But I'm going to try and show you guys what it looks like. haven't already please just go there I know when this video goes up you will have a chance to go view it because it's still gonna be ongoing I think it's ending maybe this weekend maybe on Sunday not entirely sure don't quote me I think I might even no I was thinking should I go back there tomorrow I'm not sure but I I clearly I went back there two days after the, that clip that that you saw and I bought more books yeah, but they're on discount and I can't help it and this time I had no kids to disrupt me so I could go through every single book plus uh, not book but table plus they did say that they're gonna bring in more so I do feel like it would be wise for me to go back but um, it's not a paid-for ad I just I just what could I say I love books um, in fact the thing that even made me want to pick up my camera is because I put out some of the books because I took a picture for chasing paper books um, and I thought oh maybe I should talk about like recent books I've bought but first let me tell you about my weekend so Friday was a bit chill um, Saturday my mom my sister and a couple of our family friends oof, I'm holding that funny a couple of our family friends uh, we all went to watch BYSS because you said so wow let me tell you that was a show and a half a show and a half so many unexpected moments in that show I just I have to insert this video I'm just even gonna leave room here because K1 was really feeling this song I can't insert the music because I'm you know copyright <laughs> oh, I just love I love I have a I have a soft spot for the whole cast um, they're just really cool peeps I just yeah that was a that was a fun time and then Sunday was a really slow day because we got home late and I even like it took I, I'm usually an early riser but Sunday was just really slow ha, was supposed to have a shoot didn't really go it didn't go according to plan um, and then today I've just I spent majority of the day um, with a couple of friends I'm gonna just insert a little moment here I've already Oh, are you just gonna walk behind me? <laughs> there, okay, just walking. No, no, no chills given. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Hi, David. What up? What up? Okay, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> that was just the end of a really important, necessary session with these two people that I care about so much, and yet we don't even meet that often. But whenever we do, it's just like, just good vibes. Um, and. I then came home and tried to get as much work done as possible and clear out my inbox. I actually have managed to get my inbox down to zero. Doesn't mean I've responded to everything, but I have identified the most urgent, critical ones and I've responded and it feels so good. But anyway, I thought I would take the time uh, to just very quickly go over 
books that I have bought in the recent past that I want to share with you guys because if it wasn't already obvious, I love books over here very, very much. I love buying books, reading books, being surrounded by books. I haven't though, I will be honest, I haven't been in my reading mojo the last couple of months. I think I've only read maybe two books on average um, and it's taken me really long to finish books. I don't know, I think I, I, I'm definitely on my like phone and iPad more and I need to make a conscious effort to step away because I do, like there's nothing that fulfills me as much as getting a good book um, in my hands and devouring it. And um, with that said, I'm just gonna quickly go over a few of the books I've bought in the last month last few months last two months i want to say um yeah you see that drawer over there this one that's where i put all the books that i buy rec uh, um like recent purchases of books before i take them to where i usually store my books in general but here we go I've been buying a lot of books. I've been buying a lot of books. Um, okay, this is gonna be really quick because I don't want to take I want to I don't want to take too much of your time. And I'm also okay for this video to be relatively short compared to my others. Um, but I do want to share these books just because I know that there's some of you who. Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing this well. Let me place you properly first. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I was talking and you. Got, I was like talking up here but anyway I, I just wanted to share because i know that there's some of you who are equally as obsessed with books as i am and might find this part of the video interesting um first book that was actually a gift from my fellow book nerd is tiger hills and this is something that she really like she felt she you know those books when you read and you just can't wait to gift someone I recently felt that with anxious people and I'm hoping to get my hands on some copies because I've already identified who I'm gifting that book to. Um, and this is how she felt about this book. Tiger Hills is the name of the book by Sarita Ma Mandan it's Mandan Mandana. Sarita Mandana. So that's it. Don't know anything about it and you guys know this is not where you come and get book reviews or like synopsis because I don't read the back of books. So that many times I don't like any spoilers at all. I purchased this because I want to collect every book Frederick Bachman has ever written. It's funny because I've only read one of his books and I feel this strongly about this author. So I've actually got two books. These two I got from the expo at Sarek Center. Um, A Man Called Ove, which I believe is his most popular book, if I'm not wrong. And then Brit Marie was here. <sighs> He's just... I. I I just know it might be a bit of a slow read. Oh, I haven't read these, but Anxious People, from what I experienced of his writing in Anxious People, slow start to the book and you're kind of like, where is this going? What's happening? And in the middle of it, you're just like completely enamored by all the characters and the storytelling and storyline. <sighs> so good. I got The Old Man and the Sea, Ernest Hemingway which is a very short book very short this feels like one of those that you just add to your list because you just want to like if you had a reading goal you're like mm, i'm just i'm just gonna add this like 80 page book <laughs> but it is a classic which is why i have it here i also got this from the expo and it was on sale and i want to introduce a few classics to my collection so that it's not just like the fun cool ones that are newly released but i want to i'm happy to go back in time and just see like go through the classics um i also got this from the expo not a penny more not a penny less by jeffrey archer it is a book i read many many years ago maybe even 20 years ago no maybe 15 years ago i kind of remember the storyline that's how big an impact it left on me so which is not like me because i forget things quite easily and quite quickly but this i um i remember a bit of the storyline but i did want to have it in my collection because i don't know where the original I think that must have been my dad's collection and who knows where his stuff went actually um but i i uh yeah i wanted to have this because i know i will reread it and i just really enjoyed it the last time this book i also got from the expo everything everything by nicola yoon mm, i'm not sure what it's about and i actually when i saw it it sounded familiar and then i went on goodreads and i saw that it was 
it had a lot of reviews like lots of people had read it not sure it had the best reviews but it did catch my attention and i did want to jump on it especially since it's on sale and i think we all know what that word does to me so got myself one of those i had to, going back to like classics and frank the diary of a young girl i've never read i've never read her book and i think this is the kind of thing that i want to indulge in every once in a while just like solid classics with like lots of like you know i don't have to say more i will say at this expo they had a table with like like jane austen bronte sisters you know like classic classic classics um and i would have loved to buy them it's just that they were quite expensive and i believe it's because of the cover but if you saw the covers you would understand because it's almost like art for for shelves it was it was so beautiful so beautiful i just i'm not i mean if i had to pick between like a few books and like one classic that i'm not sure i would love but looks really beautiful i'm gonna go for more books <laughs> Um, this I got from Educate Yourself. It's Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. I can't believe I've not read it, but I have not read it. Um, and I think so many people have talked about this. I think we all know and we all love Maya Angelou here and just who she was, what she stood for, her grace, her confidence, her wisdom. Um, and I just knew I needed some of her classics in my collection everything is happening people are banging dogs are barking bear with me i've got the secret life of bees this is something i actually recently added to my goodreads want to read section um it's yeah it's an it's another one that i think i've heard so much about it's by sue monk kid um yeah i mean i think we've all it i think it was even a movie it was turned into a movie wasn't it i don't know I, i'm almost certain it was turned into a movie um moving on to other classics because again i'm just trying to make sure that i have the things that everyone says you must read these two uh khalid hussein husseini's the kite runner and and the mountains echoed i i've always wondered if if i've read it or not and then my dad confirmed i have definitely read this book before i don't remember at all but he says we all did like me my brother and him he remembers distinctly all of us reading um this book at least the kite runner and maybe i did read this good thing my memory isn't that great because i don't remember and it just means i you know get to read it again but most of all i just want this in my collection and what i'm also doing with my library is i'm trying to build it i'm trying to build it with some you know decent books that hopefully someone <laughs> will want to read one day um and then in here we have the most fun we ever had this is one of those like newer popular highly weighted books it's by claire lombardo i've had this in my want to read for a long time so immediately i saw it the cover it, i just was like yeah i know i've seen this like i've had this in my i want to read it for so long um it's long listed by the women's prize fiction women's prize for fiction in 2020 so clearly was a bit of a favorite have i talked about these i don't know if i've talked about these but i'm, I'm going to add these two together I, I hope I'm not repeating things. I've not shown you this before. I don't think I've shown you these. Um, because that's usually what I do. I'll, I'll kind of like keep them here because I want to talk about them and then I'll transfer them. So I'm hoping I'm not repeating. I didn't accidentally return these here and I'm just like doing this all over again. But I've got some Colin Hoover classics. If you have picked up a book in the last couple of years, you've come across Colleen Hoover, Coho, and just how she kind of took over tiktok instagram everything when it comes to the book world she just kind of yeah shook everything up a little bit with her with her books um we chose verity as uh our i think it was august chasing paper book selection i think that's what we chose went ahead and bought two others she is such an easy like it's so easy at least verity was and from what i've understood from other people it's like you just are like finished wow what is happening in this book you know it's not a slow burn it just she like knows how to get you um in a slightly like young way i don't know if that is an accurate statement but it's it's not you know how anxious people i described it and i was like oh my gosh there's just so many emotions and like so many moments of pausing it's a book that i gave to my dad that's how much i loved anxious people i gave to my dad 
my friend T who I talked about at the start, she gave she gifted me that book. She um she also gave it to her dad. And it's it's anxious people like that is that kind of book. Colleen Hoover, I wouldn't be giving this book to my dad. Um so it's that it's that genre of like fill in the blank. <laughs> I've got here American Dirt by Janine Cummins. This is a book that I have heard so much about. I don't know if it's actually highly rated or just a lot of people. I don't know. I, I'm not sure I remember exactly where it falls. I just saw it and I... Did someone tell me about it? Maybe even my friend told me she read it and I thought, okay, now I'm going to pick it up. Um, because I think she and I have are on the same wavelength when it comes to books that we love and kind of catch our attention. Um, so she may have read it and then told me, ooh, I enjoyed that. I may be making this up also, so don't quote me, but American Dirt, What She Ate. This is a book that, again, same friend, T, uh, uh, gifted me. It's by Laura Shapiro. She said it was a bit of an odd one. Like you, did, you didn't know, like you, she didn't know where it was going and suddenly it was like, wow, that's really interesting. But it's, she kind of gave me a little bit about, uh, just a quick like overview, but it's women's relationships with food. And I thought that was interesting because I have, just like a lot of people, have a bit of a warped relationship with food. Six Remarkable Women and the Food That Tells Their Stories. Yeah, so there's that. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. She is the author of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's a book that we chose in, um, in December of last year for Chasing Paper Books and we really enjoyed actually. So I was interested to pick up another one of her books. Another one that's like, uh, you know, social media, like Instagram book hype book is this one the spanish love deception this feels like incredibly corny but also like you know sometimes the heart wants what the heart wants and corny i'll take it every once in a while so spring you need to i feel like you need to sprinkle all kinds of books you know so like the deep ones about like life and whatever actually all my non my non-fiction i consume all my non-fiction i consume um, on audible because I just find that a lot easier for me and then all the fiction lives in actual uh, like copy hard copy um, I will say there are some fiction non fictions I've listened to that I 100% want to own outliers by Malcolm Gladwell Viola Davis Finding Me, I think is the name of her book and I, and I, I think a few others I just can't remember off the top of my head um, but yeah, I just, fiction, you just have to own an actual copy. And the last book I want to share with you is by Bolu Babalola. We also chose another one of her books, 2020 or 2021, maybe 2020, I don't know. But it was The Colors of Love, Love and Color. Love, I'm, <laughs> it was a short story book and I really enjoyed it. And I just thought, you know what, let's just continue with the Bolu train and pick up her most recent book um, and that is the end of my little book haul uh, I feel really I feel really good about like my growing collection of books it's just yeah it's my little pride and joy and I can't wait to have a nice place to display them like a really beautiful area I do dream of creating that wall oh, not creating that wall but like making that wall my little library wall I was gonna I was gonna show up in so many ways there but that feels like it would be so beautiful um, and something just like low low so not like really high and up against the wall but yeah like a low profile long uh, shelf of sorts would be that's my vision but anyway uh i know this vlog is a little odd i, I just i feel like it, it feels to me a little disjointed i'm really sorry for that um but it's also because i've allowed myself to live in the moment this weekend and i haven't really picked up the camera as i would have liked so that it flows better um but i do thank you as usual for watching my videos and i will see you very soon and happy reading <laughs> happy reading bye guys mm -hmm.